Last week in the St. Clair College, cross-country team competed well in cold conditions at the CCAA National Championships in Blainville, Quebec. Saints standout rookie Tyler Jones capped off a fine season, finishing in seventh place overall at the National Championships. With that top 10 finish, Jones was named a CCAA All-Canadian and was the top finisher out of schools from Ontario. Overall, the Saints finished fifth place in a field of 21 teams and finished second among the Ontario colleges who competed at the meet. Also in cross country, three members of the Windsor Lancers cross country team were named all Canadians after the U Sports National Championships in Victoria, BC last weekend. Stephanie Smith ran in her final cross country race as a Lancer and finished the eight kilometer course in a time of 28-27 and was named an all Canadian for the third time in her career. And we'll now look to the 10 kilometer Athletics Canada Senior National Championships in Kingston this upcoming weekend. On the men's side, Sean Masters finished the 10 kilometer course in 11th, while Andrew Nebel finished 13th. As a team, the Lancers placed 6th overall after going into the championships ranked 9th. And in basketball, the Windsor Express defeated the Kitchener Waterloo Titans on the road to begin their 6th NBL Canada season, defeating the Titans 116 to 98. Windsor had five players reach double digits in the game, led by Shaquille Keith's 25 points and followed closely by Devin White, who scored 23 points, added 12 rebounds and two highlight reel blocks. Home opener for the Express is November 25th, this upcoming Saturday at the WFCU Center. This past weekend, the Windsor Express opened up their sixth campaign in the NBL Canada and here to talk to us about the team getting back on track this year is head coach Bill Jones and CEO and President Dardis Willis. Gentlemen, thanks for joining the show once again. Thanks Thank for you. Us. Obviously, a uh, big win over Kitchener Waterloo for you guys to open up the regular season. Coach, you got to be really proud of the way your guys played. It was a pretty decisive victory up in KW. You know, we played well. Uh, just been in camp for about two and a half weeks uh, to go out there and have a good showing uh, on our first game uh, was real impressive. So we're still a work in progress. We still have the motto of playing hard each and every day and then going out and competing. So uh, to be able to have a good start, that's, that was good for us. Absolutely. Uh, reshuffling the deck a little bit after falling in the Central Division Finals once again. What may be different about this team as compared to last year's team? That uh, Ten new faces. That's right. So that's definitely uh, a, a, a difference, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Logan and, and Maurice are the long holdovers, uh, and we have 10 uh, new faces. Well, Eric Parker played with us before, mm -hmm. but you know, you go out and you, you look for different talent, and, and the guys are jelly well. We got uh, some young guys along with a, a couple of uh, veterans along with it, and the guys are, are playing well so far. Mm -hmm. Dardis, you've been at the helm for this. Uh, you and Coach Jones have been the, the tandem that's been running this uh, franchise for six years. As you guys enter the sixth uh, season, what are you guys hoping to uh, expect from the Windsor Express and the, and the fan base here? Well, you know what? Um, that part of the goal doesn't change. We want to fill the arena. Mm -hmm. um, our expectations is that uh, we get the fan base out to support the players so we can continue to push forward mm -hmm. with uh, another potential uh, championship run. So, um, you know, we coach and I have the same goals every year we got more than 10 fingers so 10 fingers 10 toes so we're um, oriented to a championship again so that's the goal and it doesn't change this week's in the zone moment brought to you by the zone bar and grill at the corner of Crawford and Wyandotte goes to Windsor's Ironman Lionel Sanders who won the Arizona Ironman for the third year in a row completing the grueling task in seven hours 54 minutes and 10 seconds Congratulations, Lionel. Here's to many more In the Zone moments in the future.